he has a very high drive. Yes. I mean, very much. And so what that <clears throat> means is you can never tell him to not do something. You have to give him something else to do instead. Okay. So think of him like always this moving thing. You just have to direct. Okay. So if you don't direct him, he's going to come up with something to do. Bring well, him. let's try to have you call him. Okay. So get a handful of Cheerios. Right. And I'm going to hold on to him. And then what I'm going to have you do, Tony, is go to the end of the hall, just where he can see you and just face him. And so we're going to start with something easy. And then you are going to be super exciting. So okay. be super excited for him. you're going to look at him, call his name, pat your leg, get down low. So when we're standing tall, that's when the dog is most likely to sit and uh, be calm. When we're down like this, as you know from your visitors, that's when he gets amped up. So that's a good way to get him to come to you. So let's go ahead and try it. Right. So go ahead and call him. Come here, come here. Come here, good puppy. He was just a little unsure of what you wanted. That's good. We teach him that first. And then you'll do the exact same thing just without him being able to see you. All right, go ahead and call him again. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, Good. Boy. So sometimes when you when he can't see you the first time, you have to be a little more exciting. <laughs> All right. So this time you'll go around the corner, and then I'm going to take him around the corner as well. So he's got a double corner to go around. All right. Okay. Go ahead and call him. Uh, Crack, come on, crack. Good, Bobby. All right, let's do one more, same thing, and then I'll take him to the as far away as I can, right. and then you can call him from around the corner too. Perfect. All right, Cloud, come on, Bobby. All right. Okay, go ahead and try it. Good job, Bobby. Okay, so when you call him, here's a little tip is when he gets to you, touch his collar, like touch hold collar. it, okay. and then give him the tree. And the reason is because if he ever gets loose and someone has to grab his collar, he'll be used to that. Okay. And it won't be stressful or shocking. He won't turn and bite the person, you know, anything that can you know, cause... Natural, so. Yes. Okay. So that, I think that would be a good thing to work on this week is just the recalls. Maybe he's in here, you walk around the corner and just call him. Okay. And you don't have to do it 10 times, just do it once or twice. Okay. Perfect. You know, and just do it whenever you think of it. Just like a little moderation. And yeah. Just it. make it makes it more fun when he's not doing it 10 times in a row, you know? Right. And then it's a little more novel and exciting for him.